Hello and welcome back to uh, The Witcher Enhanced Edition. When uh, we last left off, we did a bunch of talking, went and got our stuff, got uh, a dagger and a uh, axe that we can't use uh, The Witcher stance modes to apparently. So it's just a sword. All we have is our uh, steel sword, and we are going to talk to Vesemir. Oh, that was a tough fight. I found a few intruders upstairs, but I understand they won't be a problem. Lambert, however, let the Frightener get to him. Nothing serious. Good you went after Triss and handled that mage. She was able to salvage some equipment, but it looks like the main device has vanished. Our beautiful sorceress was right, I know. You did well, Wolf. Take this armor and sword. I've been keeping them for you. Okay, um, we can meditate here, which means we can get potions. He said armor and sword. Does that mean he's giving us a silver sword or a, uh, um, a better, uh, steel sword? Also, I haven't watched season two, but, of the Netflix series Witcher, but I heard they put in Vesemir, which is really cool because Vesemir is one of my favorite characters from other books and the series. And let's see, we're gonna, um, I just go down one to four, then we'll make our potion. So let me mute back up and we will let Alvesimir do all the talking. Lambert gave me the formula. I take it you already have white gall and calcium equum. I do. What next? You'll need Celandine. Take what I have. Plus the claw of a monster like the Frightener. To skin a creature, take a sharp knife and cut along the torso. You'll find the Frightener's carcass in the upper courtyard. Once you've extracted the claw, rest by the fire while making the potion. Yes? What if I get the ingredients wrong? You'll have to find more. Where? I'll have another claw and more celandine. Eskel has alcohol and I saw calcium equum somewhere upstairs. But try to get it right the first time, it's not that hard. Are there other witchers? There were three witcher schools in all, but it's been long since I've heard word of the other two. You've met all the witchers I know of, except for Berengar. Did I know him? I don't believe so. An introvert, he chose his own path. Actually, none here can say they know Berengar. He often ran away from Kaer Morhen. Though he would always return in the end. After the trial of the grasses, he finally accepted his destiny and started training for real. Why isn't he here? I don't know. We lost touch with him a while back. Um, I can't remember. Um, what for other witcher schools? Uh, that there was... Of the three he mentioned, and then in other games, in Assassins of King, I think they added a fourth one. But let's see if we can ask him something real quick, and we'll let him can talk. Can I ask you something? Of course. Who was Leo? One of hundreds of orphans of the war with Nilfgaard. I apprenticed him six years ago. I'm sorry. We'll recover our secrets and find Leo's murderers, even if they fled to the end of the world. Can I ask you something? Of course. You mentioned defending Kaer Morhen before. Yes. Fifteen witchers once lived here, training boys for their trials. Only they knew the secrets of mutation. Witchers who set out on the path and failed to assimilate among humans wintered here. Before the battle, 23 witches and 40 students called Kaer Morhen home. Too damn few for the mob that attacked. I never knew why they came. Some say a sudden explosion of anger born of disdain for witches. But no, someone provoked the mob with flyers filled with lies. Special agents read them to the peasants. Truer still. The fanatics could never have taken the fort without the aid of sorcerers, though they outnumbered us by far. They didn't even spare the youngest. I alone survived, concealed among the corpses. Walk around, Wolf. 
The skeletons remain. You may find a flyer. There used to be hundreds. Memorize it as a warning of the evil humans can perpetrate. So there is actually a movie that actually tells that story. It's an animated movie. We'll speak about later. About Vesemir and how he became a witcher. Uh, oh. Oh, okay. We got a, a better still sword. Yeah. Witcher still sword. So ours was like a training still sword, I think. And what are these? Can I like, put potions here? No. But I can put them up here. I kind of want swallow up there. And that's not a potion, that's alcohol. Uh, yeah. Right near vision. Alright. One brought. Wait. Notes containing the formula for a potion made using Frightening Eye. The potion grants one bronze talent when consumed. Oh, cool. We have that and that. We just need the Frightener. And he said it was outside, right? Exit the courtyard right over here. And it's probably still where it was. Okay, so let's go to the courtyard, get our claw. I'm, I'm not actually sure if you can mess this up. But, uh, the Frightener... Where did Vesemir say the Frightener was? What's this? Frightener carcass... Gate. Okay, so the Frightener's right here. Okay. To extract alchemical components, left click the monster carcass. Tip. Read books, gain information about monsters, ingredients you must know before you collect them. Uh, before we do that, let's look. Uh... Uh, we've read that book. Uh, we've read that book. That's, uh, the stone. We've read that book. Okay. Alright. Okay, so we got the eye. And we have the claw. Okay, uh... Okay, so... Is there anything in that? Uh... There is. Nice. Let's see. Uh, what is this? Flint? I think we just only double click and grab. I'm not sure if we're really gonna need a lot of flint. I don't really like selling stuff that I know I can't like easily find. But like, I've got a lot of flint. Oh, we might sell some. I don't know. Okay, so we have our potion. Or well, our ingredients, I should say. He said to come to the fire, and if we messed it up, he'd have more claws. We don't get another eye from what I saw. Fireplace. Alright. Fireplace. Meditate, he said. Okay, left click the vial to create a potion. Okay, let's go to our alchemy. Right here, right? No, uh, alchemy. Okay, what do I need for this? Okay. Okay, I have visceral potion for Triss. Swallows, we're missing two ingredients. Tiny Owl, we're missing two. Thunderbolt, we're missing three, it looks like. And that, we're missing one. White Goal. White Goal is to, uh, um, I might take down the toxicity, if I'm not mistaken. Thunderbolt is the, uh, what you call it, uh, the attack potion. Tiny Owl is the resistance, swallows the heal. Potion for Triss is, I don't know, but I really want this one, but I need that. And Okay, so let's do the potion for Triss. And, oh, it's just white go, oh no. Okay, and, okay, we, we made that potion. And we have nothing but the eye for this one. Okay, and if it's anything like Witcher 2, it will, uh, you can use like really rare ingredients and kind of mess yourself up. Okay, uh, can I get in this box? No, oh, okay, so, uh. We have the potion. Let's go talk to uh, a Vesemir. Yes. Yep. Okay. Uh. Okay. We'll, we'll speak, speak later. later. 
Okay, so we're just going to go straight to Triss, who is on the other side of this area in the kitchen, I think. Right? No, she's probably in her room. Why would they let her, like, stay? Campfire, where is Triss at? She's probably in her room. Uh, I didn't mean to click that. Uh, I keep... Alright. Which her room is over here. But I don't know why they would let her like lie on the floor. She's probably in her bed or something. Oh, uh, potion for Triss. Go to Triss. Where is Triss? I should take the... Yeah. Yep. Yeah, she's in her room. Which room is Triss? This is Triss's room. But, uh... Uh, um, like I said in episode one, Geralt, uh, he lost his memory, like it said, and this takes place after the book, so he knows all these people, technically. Okay, we are in Triss's room, or Geralt's room, whatever you want to call it. Witcher 3, Yennefer's room, uh, um, I, 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 during the little dream sequence, I don't. Okay, so here we are. We're with Triss. Let's talk to her. Uh, uh, oh. Thank you, Geralt. I hope this potion helps. That was terrible. I dreamt Lambert was with me. He was staring at me, saying things like, don't go dying on me, Marigold. Calling me big-headed. I'm so glad to see you. What? I'm glad you're feeling better. I know we should set out. But I have a feeling we won't be back. Perhaps ever. Won't you stay just a bit longer? With me? I suppose we have some time. I'm so happy you're back. When I saw you, all the feelings I tried to deny returned. Stronger than ever. Triss, I'm not ready to talk about the past. Of course. I, I shouldn't pressure you. I just feel so... <laughs> the powers. I'm behaving like a teenager. Let's focus on the present. I guess I disappointed you all. Forgive me. Nothing to forgive. What I felt when I learned you were alive... Hard to compare to anything. Oh... Except maybe what I feel as I look at you. I missed you so. Let's see if the best bed in Kaer Morin can hold us. Geralt, a pleasure, as always. As always? You don't remember anything? Unfortunately. Well, you have something to look forward to then. No matter. Tell me, how did the battle end? They broke into the lab, killed Leo, stole our mutagens, and escaped. Poor Vesemir. Another protege dead prematurely. We delayed the funeral until you awoke. Thank you. As for the mutagens... Their loss could prove catastrophic. Let's not lose any more time. Unless there's something you'd like to ask me? I got scared there for a minute. Because I'm not really good at editing on the PC. And I didn't want to get in trouble for them showing titties. So, uh, do we want to know anything? Uh, yeah, we're going to start at 2 and go down, I guess. Um. And I will let Triss do the talking, and I will see, and I will speak to you guys when she gets done. Know anything more about the sorcerer who ransacked the lab? He's very powerful. He completely controlled the energy he drew from the circle. We may soon be facing another Vilgefortz. Who? No matter. I have something I'd like to teach you. Geralt, can we go? 
Can you restore my memory? I'd have to examine you. There's a good chance your memory will return on its own. How much chance? That's difficult to say. It might help if I knew what caused you to lose your memory. Well, no time for that now. Geralt, can we go? The theft. What are its possible consequences? Most sorcerers and rulers would sell their greedy, power-hungry souls to get the mutagens. Only a master of the arcane arts can use that knowledge. Not many of those left. What about wealthy merchants, dukes, kings? Perhaps. Anything's possible. But speculating wastes time. We just don't have enough information. True. Geralt, can we go? We shouldn't keep Vesemir waiting. Come on, then. We don't know where the bandits came from or who's behind them. We'll draw attention if we venture out as a group. By splitting up, we can also cover more territory. I'll go west. I know a few people there, and I prefer the coastal then climate. Then I'll head east to Kedwin, unless someone objects. That's fine. Which way should I go? South to Tamaria. King Foltest owes you a debt of gratitude. Some time ago, you removed a curse from his daughter. You might happen on the bandit's trail there. And you, Triss? I'll try to use my influence to find the bandits. If I learn anything, I'll contact Geralt. I'll gather what information I can and find you in Vizima. Triss. Don't, Geralt. I detest goodbyes. I'm liable to cry, and there's nothing more pathetic than a sorceress in tears. Don't get killed, Geralt. I don't think I could deal with that again. I'll see you soon. See you, Triss. Caroline, I'm tired. It's not far now. We'll be there soon. I'm cold. We'll fetch you warm milk and honey. You'd like that. Very much. Thank you, Caroline. What are those dogs doing? Dogs? Alvin, do exactly as I say. This is important. Run to the inn as fast as you can, and don't look back. Understand? They're evil dogs. Run! What the hell? Shut the gate, quickly! The beast! The beast is attacking! Sound the alarm!
Geralt! Melatelli must have sent you. There's a woman outside. The dogs will tear her apart. Help her! Help! No! Don't open the gate! The beasts will enter! These dogs are deadly. You people are monsters! Stand aside! I'll save her myself! Stop. Don't go out there alone. Damn you! We're all going to die! Okay, um, while we do this, let's touch base on what, uh, on what Vesemir was talking about. While Geralt, uh, went to, uh, why he's going to Temeria, it was in uh, the book, uh, uh, The Last Wish, where he saved, uh, uh the king's daughter who became, uh, I, f I, I forgot exactly what she became. Why is he not attacking? Geralt! Destroy these dogs or we'll die. I'm trying, lady. Alright. Geralt, attack! Fuck's sake, bro. Geralt! Geralt! Oh. What was that? Magic, surely. The beast! Geralt, look! The time of the sword and axe approaches. The time of the white frost and white light. The time of madness and disdain. To it, the final age. The world will perish amidst ice and be reborn with the new sun. Reborn of elder blood, of hen care, of a planted seed. A seed that will not sprout but burst into flames. The old elven prophecy of Itlina. I hope he's alright. It seems he saved us from the beast. Yes, seems so. Oh, I do hope he's not hurt. I'll need to find someone to take care of him. He shouldn't be alone. We'll stay at the inn in the meantime. Wait a minute. I ran into wild dogs on my way here, but they were nothing like these, and I don't mean just the green fur. Know anything about them? They've been terrorizing the village for some time. Every few days, a villager is killed. The pack is led by a large hound, perhaps a wolf. People call it the beast. Someone might pay to have the beast slain. That's what witchers do, isn't it? But enough about monsters. What brings you here? I'm seeking men who wear the sign of the salamander. Seen anyone like that in the area? Shh, not so loud. There was someone, but the peasants grow silent at the mere mention of him. The Reverend might know more. You may also want to ask him about the beast. I'll do that. Did you want to ask me something? Okay, like I was saying before, I got distracted with uh, game mechanics. Uh, um, it, in the book, uh, The Last Wish, if you don't want to read it or actually get the audiobook or something like that it is also season one of the netflix series and uh he saved the king's daughter and now the king owes him stuff anyway uh it's been a long time since i've heard mention of the salamander do we know each other all right let's let this lady talk and we'll start asking questions it's been a long time since I've heard mention of Salamandra. Do you know anything about them? I think they're a group of bandits who terrify the locals. Yesterday, they returned a boy they'd whipped with a lamia. A lamia? A mayhem crop with small barbs and hooks. It rips away skin and flesh with each strike. Most civilized countries have banned them. The boy was delirious, muttered something about a ransom and the reverend. Sadly, he grew feverish, and he died that night. Thanks. I may stay longer than I planned. Why the interest in Salamandra? They killed someone I was fond of, and stole something of mine. I wouldn't want to be them. Do we know each other? It's me, Shawnee. Don't you recognize me? Whatever happened to you? I heard you died during a massacre in Rivia. Unfortunately, I lost my memory. I recall the last few weeks, nothing more. Hmm. I'm afraid I can't help. Medicine's a fledgling science here in the North. I can say that your memory might come back on its own. It's not that bad. I'm actually getting used to it. 
I hate to admit it, but sorcerers are somewhat more effective at this than we are. Maybe one of them could help. What brings you to this village? I'm traveling to St. Libiota's Hospital in Vizima to help fight the Catriona Plague. When are you leaving? Once I've helped the victims of the dog attacks, I guess. I can't abandon them. It'll delay me, but some are certain to die without my aid. So what'll become of Alvin? I don't know. I'll look after him for now. Maybe a villager will take him in. He seems clever enough. Surely someone will want him. Did you want to ask me something? We'll speak later. Okay. Let's loot some stuff. We have a dog skull and ectoplasm. I can't imagine they're gonna let me loot the guard. Okay. And? Okay, what's this? Uh, medicate, fire will ignite, so if you have went, use the igni sign, okay. Alright, we'll use the, that. Uh, I would like to see what talents we have. We have six, cool. Okay, um, let's use group steel. We need silver for that. Precise hit, damage. Okay, um, uh, let's look at strength. Okay, what's this one? This is dodge and parry. I don't want that. And, uh, I don't plan on being very low. Uh, I'll take strength two. What's this? Parry. Oh, yeah, I'll take that. Power up during fist fight. Uh, we have four more. Let's look at dexterity. What's this? Playing. Unlock a bill. Acquire ingredients from monster. Oh, I can't get that. Okay. Predator. Only active. Requires consumption of a mutagen that we don't have. Do I have? Okay, we'll get that. Attack and dodge. Get that. Uh. Nah, I'm good on that. I'm good on that. I'm good on that. Let's see about stamina. Duration of alcohol intoxication. That'd be good. Uh, I got two left. I'm mutagen. Restores 20 vitality while increasing tox. That could be awesome. I do want that. And I have one more. What's this? Oh, it's a story thing. Sign intensity. Oh. Igni. Oh, uh, Igni's the fire. Quinn is the shield, I think. Yeah, Axie is the uh, mind control. Yurden is the, uh, <coughs> slow. Um. Let us go back to group. What we got here? Precise hit, damage, 25%. At least three opponents. <coughs> Precise hit, damage. Uh, we'll do precise hit. I want to go meditate until dawn. And after this, we will call this episode. And we'll go talk to people. Like the guards and stuff and see what they know. And I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful day.